All right. Uh, you have stepped away from the uh, weather guard uh, guard tower uh, from Feathergale Spire, and you have made a deal to get them the body which you have already sent to Red Larch. So what we're, do you do? I'm assuming we're going back to Red Larch. Mm-hmm. Wick is of the opinion that as soon as we get back there, we need to tell the people in charge that we saw cult shit. And that the yeah, people coming agreed. to get the body probably more cult shit. Have we really, like, confided in anyone about, um, like, all these symbols? Uh, no. Maybe we should. Yeah, I don't think we've ever released anything. Well, who do we want to I mean, we've, we've talked We've talked to people. We've talked to, oh god, someone and their wife about the one symbol. No, the the other person. Um, I don't remember God. <laughs> um, but about the first symbol before, like, I mean, it's already that one's already taken care of, I believe. But then remember they told us that they saw it around town, but. Oh, the priest. Oh, yeah, that was the, the, the okay. it was the priests. We, we, I know that um, Atlas talked to the priests about it. We were asking random people. I know that we asked yeah. the, mm-hmm. uh, the innkeep. Because Atlas asked a few other people, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and most of them hadn't seen it. Um, Mm-mm. And we might as well tell, like, the dude that runs the town, like, the, the sheriff or constable or whatever, you know, yeah, what. That's the... Yeah. Tell him, um, yeah. and then he can tell whoever he sees fit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, the people that we Basically, trust. So, for Wick, that would be the baker. Warn them for to you guys, For, like, a Glen, that might be, like, the the herbalist lady. Hylia. Halisa. Yeah. Halisa. Mm-hmm. Or Halia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, tell them to keep an eye out for those symbols in the future, since we've now spotted two different ones in the immediate area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the <clears throat> the weather guard people are supposed to come the next day. Mm-hmm. But we would have to go up through town anyway if we're all still planning to go to the party that is north of here. Oh yeah, so. we're gonna go to the, the rock festival or whatever. <laughs> yeah, the music festival the druid open door policy. Yeah. So, we just wait here and see if they cause any trouble while we warn the town about those other symbols and then so long as the yeah, I say we just start. We start with talking to Halberg, 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 the constable, um, and like, kind of explaining that. Well, this symbol was connected to cult shit. We saw, we've seen these symbols as well, and now we're starting to see them in other places. Mm-hmm. Maybe other cult yeah. shit. But we're still, we're still traveling back at this point, are we? We're just discussing our plans as we head back. Okay. All right. Uh, you managed to make it back safely. Woo. And plans are discussed. You you talk to Halbrick and your respective contacts to let them know. Uh, and you are informed that they will very kindly be on the lookout for such shenanigans. And your vigilance and learning about possible cult activity is appreciated, given the fact that you have helped the town by finding cults previously. So you've earned a reputation of being reliable in this regard. Okay. So are we waiting for the cult people to show up, or are we just going to skid at? I mean, I think we should... Oh, no, I think we, we should be around know. when that person comes. Uh, was there anything yeah, else we, we could take care intention. of in town? 
Um, Is mean, there anything else going on in town? Atlas. I have excellent news for you. Oh. Uh, your I'm friend. Excellent news. Your friend that has traveled to Belliard mm -hmm. has returned. Um, of course, uh, Brother Airden forgot to bring you presents. <coughs> I was wondering about that. And uh, he says, "Look, I, I'm. I apologize. I completely forgot. Uh, I do have a couple things here for you." Uh, I wasn't sure what color you wanted, though. So, uh, I just thought what I thought would be appropriate. And he pulls out two, uh, about, uh, just a little bit bigger, about the size of a silver dollar each. Two dark blue lenses. You don't. Says, are these the sort that you were asking about? Hey. Indeed they were. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm glad uh, they're perfect for you. Wait. You'll probably still need some good frames, but at least this is a start. What he give you? Glasses. Uh, dark blue. Yes. So that Atlas can make some sunglasses to go match ah. his hat. Ah. Okay, but... In the event that the hat, you know, but flies is, away. Is Atlas gonna do that, that cute shitty thing where, like, one is, like, blue and the other one is, like, the other color? Wait, what? Are you gonna like mix and match, or are you just gonna do like two one, one of the straight colors? Wait, I didn't hear that there was different colors. They're not. They're both dark blue. Oh, okay. okay. That was me misunderstanding then. Yeah, he just wasn't sure if dark blue was the right color. Oh, okay. Suitable. I appreciate that, Brother Aridin. Alright. Well, and I will certainly see about getting those frames. Awesome. Um, I shall be taking my leave. I have drinking to do. <laughs> will you enjoy that drinking? That's the plan. Uh, the night passes relatively uneventfully. Okay. And the next morning arrives, and uh, there's a, a knock on your inn door. And which door? Since we all have which separate door? Rooms. I think we all yeah. Uh, and that's a great question. Well, I mean, if, if it depends on the time of day, Wick's probably out there doing his uh, pull-ups. <laughs> oh, well, if someone's out out and about then, well, he's, then, it, then it, it gets up pretty early yeah he he might be like in the doorway doing pull-ups of either the closet if the oh. room has a closet or in his like actual doorway doing pull-ups because i'm oh, pretty but... sure he's found a way to do pull-ups he he is a morning person and he does do morning exercise yeah he'd probably be you pull it like outside the, the room with the door open just <laughs> so there you go no knocking on the door just uh walks straight up to you and it is he's checking the thing because he's tired um you are approached by jalisa uh, the butcher she says uh, uh harbrook uh sent me to uh tell you um uh, the the they they've arrived I'm looking for the body um a couple of um, individuals. Okay, uh, I'll be sure to let everybody know, uh, where are they exactly? Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're just, uh, 
Well, uh, that's a good question. Where would they keep dead bodies in this town? Uh, we we kind of have them uh, in a shack, kind of just a couple buildings down from my shop. Not at my shop, because that would be a bad look, but just, close enough that we just can monitor slightly. It. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll go wake everybody up and I'll meet you there, I guess. Sounds good. And I'll, uh, I'll have some breakfast for you, for you guys when you get there. Oh, thanks. Breakfast is the best meal of the day. <laughs> That's uh, what I say. Right? It's like no one no one listens to me. Uh, no, no. Maybe they'll listen to the sizzle of the bacon. <laughs> Wicked's gonna laugh and start waking people up. August drags himself out of the bed, like he does every morning, reluctantly. Suffer, bus it. Go on. Oh, sorry, go on. I, I literally just said suffer, bus it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Glenn was probably awake and just kind of like going over her stuff, so she was quick to come out and meet Wick and be ready to go. Atlas comes out of his own room, uh, this time with a horned dung beetle hanging out with him <laughs> on his shoulder, um, and his hat firmly on his head. Mm -hmm. I guess we all go to the shack, then. Indeed. Lead the way. Okay. I assume you've told us all about... What they said? Oh yeah. Okay. Just <laughs> slipped my mind. Uh, you get to the yeah. shack, and uh, you're greeted uh, by Hawberk, and he seems to be trading uh, some pleasantries uh, with uh, two Feathergale knights. One of which you recognize as the woman at the gate, who smiles and waves very cheerfully as you approach. Hey! Nice seeing you again. Hey, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, too. You should have been there for the party last night. It was great. No, we oh, had business. Sorry we couldn't make it. That's unfortunate. Um, But, you know, uh, we're, we're actually... We're going to be having some games tonight. Uh, some nice little hunting games. You guys are certainly invited to come by if you ever have them. Um... <laughs> Festival or feast hunting games. <laughs> you don't say. We'll definitely have to take it under consideration. I mean, if you've got other things well, going, obviously, I wouldn't want it. You guys are doing obviously important work, I guess. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't want it. You know, if you interrupt you on this, but, but that's okay. Uh, if we can find time, we'll probably head there. But I know that we do have another. Thing, I guess you could call it. Yeah. Well, some, of, I... some of ours have gone missing, and we're on the hunt for them currently. So. Oh, that's 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 unfortunate. Um. She looks around a little Find bit. Them easily. And she's like, "Okay." And she, and she leads in, all conspiratorial, like and she's like, "All right." Not supposed to say this, but I've heard a couple things, you know, in the grapevine. Oh, yeah. And yeah, well, I I heard some like because you know, and, and and she points to the to the body that her compatriot is now loading onto a small wagon. Um, and she says, "Yeah, um, did a little bit of asking around." You know, last night, because, yeah, you know, I wanted, you know, you guys are cool, and I wanted to, you know, you're cool. It's like, and, and I heard that there was a bit of an altercation. One of our scouts had seen some weird looking guys and, like, dark, you know, like cult shit, right? And dark robes and shit. And they were escorting, uh, 
a couple prisoners. I think one of them, one was a dwarf or something. Um, and they'd been coming down from the north. Uh, the weird thing is, is that they, I think these, that they were wearing the robes of, there's a monastery out there. You know, I've never been there myself, but, you know, I've seen the monks in there once or twice. Um, I, I could give you directions to, to the monastery, if you like. That would be delightful. Please, babe. All right. And so she gives you, uh, she gives you some, uh, some, uh, description. And, you know, she's like, they don't really do a lot. But they're kind of creepy, and I, you know, I, there was obviously there's the the, the thing, um, and they're 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 kind of weird monks, but they're really suspicious. I'd check them out if I were you. <laughs> That's what we do. Nice, nice. Yeah, and if you have any other questions, like I'll keep asking around and see if something comes up. Right, uh... Hey, any help is... What was your name again? Savra. My name is Savra. Well, it's nice to meet you officially, Savra, and also thank you for such pertinent information. No problem. Anytime. If you have any other questions, you know, come see me at. Uh, we'll we'll get you fed. We'll keep you dry for a bit. If it's raining, we'll we'll, we'll help you out. You are a wonderful little just ball of sunshine. Thank you. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I I I I. I like to think that, that I that I try to add a little bit more positivity to the world. Right. It's just sometimes being positive is much better than all this gloom and doom and all this mayhem oh, yeah. that's going around. Oh yeah, you gotta <laughs> probably you gotta, a cultist. You gotta enjoy you know, you gotta enjoy the finer things in life. You gotta you gotta get out there, you gotta breathe the air. You know, like there's all this this whispering about you know bad stuff and bad omens and all that and, and and you know how can this world be bad when you can jump on a hippogriff and soar through the air and hunt wild game like manticores? Sometimes people just take take for granted what's right in front of them. That's right. That's what I say. Just gonna live life to the fullest, and I'm glad that we met you, so that we could you know. Share this moment. The same. And I look forward to future moments as well. I do too. Alright, I'll let you guys get back to your... I guess your burial or cremation. I don't know how you dispose of your dead or the ceremonies that you do. I'm not going to pry. That's not my business. But I'll let you guys get back to it and we'll get back to ours. That way we can rid the world of people that are kind of butthurt about life. <laughs> well, I, I, I hope you can unhurt their butts. Is that the term for it? I have no idea. It is now. <laughs> Alright, so I guess that's what we do. I guess... Yeah, whatever just... she's out of, like, earshot, August is just gonna lean over and be like, do you think all... The weather guards are like that now because that's a lot different than I remember. Oh no, that that's absolutely diamond. That's dozen. absolutely cult shit. Yeah, no, no, that that kid probably not into the cult shit either. That kid is like literally just fresh faced baby, or that kid is so in deep that they don't even realize they're in a cult. I think they're so in deep they don't think they're in a cult. I want to be optimistic and think that they're nice. We dealt with the weather guards a lot. I know, but and one bad apple. They were dicks. Like, the whole bad apple, honestly, the entire pit, but there's got to be at least one good person there. Uh, you know what? I've seen that happen before, so. <laughs> I mean, I 
know you didn't exactly like my friends, but I wasn't that bad. That's the point I'm making. Well, there we go. Can't judge a book by the cover. Sometimes the cover's right. fallen off, so, you know. I'll leave it to you to have the optimism. Do have a lot of I'm them. with August on this one, but I also feel that um, I don't quite trust that the information being provided wasn't just a uh, a wild this... goose chase. They wanted us to get off their trail. I mean, could be. I do agree with that, but I also think that if we are going to pick something to do, the music festival may be the most time sensitive. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we're going to the music festival anyway. We can check out the monks later. Unless, are the monks and the music festival kind of the same thing? Kind of all in the same direction, really. Yeah. Direction. What if they're the but same I mean, thing? But they're not the same thing. Wasn't well, there they're something not. else in the same direction, too? No, the other two were... There was another health. tomb or something we could find, and then there was stuff east... Yeah, the grapes went the opposite direction. Okay. Well, I. You, your call, guys. I vote the music festival, but that could be because I'm a druid and I have certain oh. obligations for my people. Was the. Was. Were, do we know if the direction that the. Um, delegation was coming from in the same direction as the music festival. They're they're all the same direction. Okay, that's the other thing I think. I think we were going to go to the music festival and make sure we don't see the delegation along the way or something. Or potentially there. Or potentially there. Because we, we found one person that could possibly be from the delegation, but I mean, who's to say? Yeah. Well, music festival well, it is. Two. But if that um, Savara was right, and it was potentially if the guard they were talking about was the person that died, I'm not sure if that was implied, and the prisoners was the dwarf, and oh, uh, Aridin knew that the dwarf the dwarf was from the mm -hmm. delegation. So the dwarf in the the one in the dwarf the female, uh, uh, yeah, those two the were warrior. from the delegation. Okay. Yeah, you, but they didn't know their names. They just knew that they danced Correct. and he drank just... with them. Yeah. So yeah. I think because of that, it would make sense following that sec that area because they're kind of all there and there's a potential that the monks are already involved with the delegation, right? Yeah, I, I think our, our, what's it called? Priority is to go searching for the delegation and check these leads. Being yeah. both this monk shit and the the music festival. So music. Is festival. there anything anyone wants to do in town before we leave? Uh, I don't have anything. Don't think so. I think we have we have potions still. Oh. Uh, Let me make sure. Does I don't need Atlas any... have time to get metal frames wrapped around those lenses? Uh, it'll cost you 10 gold to hire someone to do that. You won't have time to get it done before you leave, but... Okay. Uh, it'll, it'll He'd like to get that started. Sure, no problem. Uh, uh, that's easy enough to, to arrange. He Did wants the lenses to look like Nanami's. <laughs> Or Bato, if you it, Bato has similar looking lenses, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but really, Nanami's, I love his lenses. Okay. Oh, Just, I needed okay. components for this. Oops. I'm not gonna comment. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment. Well, it, that wouldn't have been. Too <laughs> Can I get soot and salt mm -hmm. in case I need it? What? Yes, I did. I need soot and salt, and I didn't realize that I needed that before. My bad. Oh. Wait, what do you need? Uh, a pinch of soot and salt for comprehend no, 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 languages. No. Nope. You have 
you have an arcane focus. So you I do, do. Not need Oh, so is, does thesis count as my arcane focus? Yes. Yeah. Yay! Okay, uh, I don't if, need it. If you didn't have your arcane focus, you would require a material components pouch, which would include all that shit. Okay, then I'm good. I don't need anything. Yeah, you're, you're good. <laughs> you, you got your shit handled. Cool. Alrighty. Anything else before you head off into the... Go on, sorry. Into the, uh... To the wild yonder? <laughs> Nothing for me. I'm good. Alright. Nope. We can just say off camera that Atlas stopped by to get his frames started. Based on the image. All right. He sketches the the frames out. Just okay. All right. Atlas is sus. Got it. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, somebody roll me a d twenty, please. And thank you. Do you want me to do no, it? Well, don't ever jump at once. Here, I got it. Oh, okay. Like I, I had my <laughs> hands on it. I was like, I'll do uh, it. Am I adding anything to this, or just a d twenty? Straight d twenty. Ten. Okay, cool. I realized I could have rolled that myself, but that would involve <laughs> moving. <laughs> the trek along the path uh, it takes a fair bit of time, even longer than getting to the Lance Rock. We take in uh, the cart and Clippy Coffee. Oh, I would assume. And uh, it's not an unpleasant drive. Eventually, you get closer to the site, but you hear it long before you see it. And you can hear kind of a cacophony of different musics playing uh, to your left. And then you see a uh, small path that goes uh, towards the noise. It's still wide enough that your cart can go up there. And there is a, a sign ahead of the path. And uh, it is written in Druidic. Mm. Can I read the sign? You can. It says... Oh, Scarlet Moon Hall. This way to the right of the Wicker Giant. So I'm just writing it down. Not at all, Amas. On the uh, way there. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead. I was going to say on the way there, can I do weapon bond with Thesis? <clears throat> yes, of course. Okay. I just wanted to have that said. Yeah, of course. You you could have done that long before you even left. Okay. I just yeah, wanted to yeah. make sure that was said. <laughs> yeah. So in case it's not obvious, I read that aloud to the class. And say Scarlet Moon Hall, that was where they said the party was, right? That is correct. Do we want to follow the music, even though it seems like this could be a fey trap? <laughs> <laughs> what else are we going to do? We Fair wanted to come here. Coffee. We might as well see it through. Fuck it, yeah, be gay, no. be merry. Wick's gonna click <laughs> the reins. I'm that this is a party. We probably shouldn't go in guns blazing, weapons out, right? No, no, no. We're just here just to enjoy the festival. Just wanted to check. Alright. Yeah. Wick is driving. Um, if you didn't hear the, you know, the finger quotes, but, you know. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Starting to get later on in the day, the sun begins to set. Everything has a nice reddish glow to it. The... Visible through the haze that covers the hill is a square tower ringed by ruined walls. In front of the tower burns a bonfire shaped like a fiery giant. Scattered on the slope below the tower are seven bonfires with tents clustered around them. 
Humanoid figures huddle near these closer fires. A trail leads up to these hillside encampments. Oh my god, it's Burning Man. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Listen, Burning Man is no joke. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we approach? Might as well. We didn't hear that this was a uh, music festival for specific yeah. people. Did we like like people? Other outsiders weren't allowed or anything, right? It was open to the public, right? I think it said as long as you were. Yeah, there. the druid invited open doors. Okay. Yep. Um. So, uh, you go up the path, and it leads to the first set of tents. Four rogue humans, two male, two female. Chant as they stand around a bonfire. On the periphery of the firelight are two massive elk, placidly chewing. Mm. Uh, they seem to be in the midst of a bit of celebration. Uh, one of them, uh, one of the women, looks up and waves. Wick waves back. Yeah. Glenn smiles, but then smiles more at the elk than the people. <laughs> Clearly they, they smile, noticing you're smiling more at the elk than the people, and that just makes them happy. <laughs> or one of the too. Dude, they get yeah, one of the dudes goes, nice. Uh, and, and he breaks off from the, the chanting uh, to their to their stores, and he starts uh, grabbing some some uh, uh, some little sips, little snifters of brandy to share with everybody. So they, well, you guys made it. That's awesome. Oh man, I'm so hyped for this, man. Where are you from? All over. We are. Oh. You can go on if you want. I mean. Like, technically, or where did we come from? We came from the town down south. Where did you oh, come from? Oh, red large man. No, we're, we're from all over. Because, uh, you know, we're not really from a town, if you know what I mean. Uh, we're we're, we're kind of local. Yeah, we're kind of local, but no, I get it. Um... But mostly, yeah. Mostly, we're 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 from a from a, a camp, you know, a couple days north of here. Uh, my name my name's Vargo, by the way. Uh, that uh, that dude there with the belly that's uh, that's Mahoon, uh, Aniri. You you can't stop her from dancing. She's never gonna stop dancing. And uh, uh, Faria right there. Uh, are, uh, are you guys all druids, or what is going on? Druid, these are my friends. I can vouch for them. Cool. Cool. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're from the Circle of the White Elk. I'm sorry these are not White Elk. We, <laughs> we just had to pick a color. It was tradition, you know. And, and, well, we found two really awesome elk. They yeah, look, that's fine. look beautiful creatures. Where, 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 what circle are you from? Circle the land. Circle okay. of the land. That is traditionally generic. I love it. If that's great, my dude. Um. Yeah, we're we're looking forward to the right. They're they're, uh, they're advertising the, the the druids up here. The druids of the Scarlet Moon. They're they're saying there's going to be a raid of the Wicker Giant. Which, hey, look at right there. It's a wicker giant. <laughs> you think sure. they're doing a little bit more than drinking, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, hey, Vargo, quick tell question. You else about? Oh. Yeah. oh, you go, Glenn. Um, I was just going to ask the guy if they told them anything else about what was happening. Okay. Yeah, they're going to teach us how to do it. It's going to bring more prosperity and more fertilities to the area. And you know, we're you know, they were just like, man, that's our jam. So we're here 
with some jam. Do you want any crackers and jam or something? We got crackers and jam. She kind of looks at her friends, seeing if they're interested in a snack. Wick is going to look directly at you with that do not fucking take that. Do I see other people eating? <laughs> yeah, like every so often, like the, the one with the belly, the one you need Emma who is just grabbing a cracker and just like I don't know. If I'm spreading gonna some jam. I'm just noshing it. Wick's gonna look back at the dude and be like, oh, that's alright, dude. We brought our own snacks and he's gonna pull out one of his scones. Dude, you got snacks you're here for the long haul that's awesome man yep always come prepared right can we um out of character look at the brandy they're pouring and see if it resembles the bottle uh you certainly can with the suspicious Markings on it. Investigation. Can Please. I cast guidance? You certainly can. Okay. I wanted to say something in character. You said the I... sacred, the scarlet moon. Okay. Okay. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. No, this is not wine. This is brandy. Um, you remember them talking about it being wine that they were delivering to the druids. Um, this is definitely, um, you actually notice that, uh, on the, the side of their little cask, you can see kind of little, you know, benedictions in druidic, like, you know, happy health and bottoms up and, you know, just that sort of thing inscribed around so that to an outsider it looks like ooh it's a spooky witch cauldron but no really you can just go no it's a it's a it's just a booze that. sucks that our fear of um cult shit won't allow us to like let loose and have fun anymore um, um out of character do we know like or is the term wicker giant something familiar to either to druids or to people in general in the adventuring world well, I, I mean, mean the idea is this... Oh, sorry. Well, the idea of a burning effigy isn't unusual, and and <laughs> uh, to Glenn. I'm Cora, trying to figure yeah, out what is the weird thing. It would be very normal to Glenn, and yeah. probably like nostalgic even. Yeah, like maybe not a wicker giant, maybe like a wicker dude, but you know, like it wouldn't yeah. give us the same bad vibes or give like our characters the same bad vibes as it would those of us who watch the movie Wicker Man. <laughs> if that's what you're worried about. That's right. There you, you have not encountered the Wicker Man. Like... There's no bees. There's no bees. There's a lot of bees. Don't 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 sign checks your ass can't catch. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, suddenly there's a whole lot more bees. No, there's no bees. No. Bees? It's like a normal amount of bees, I should <laughs> A normal amount of bees, and they're not confined to something on your head. So, you know, you're, you're pretty good. Okay. Okay. Um, Glenn kind of looks at the cauldron and looks kind of smiles and sniffs at it and says this looks good but i don't like anything quite so strong do you have any wine they got wine up there though uh and, and they point to uh there's two paths that lead from this camp one goes straight up the hill towards the tower and then there's another camp uh to the east okay, and they say yeah they got wine. they got some wine over there um, don't mind the bear, though. I never do. I might check it out. Thanks. Thanks. Point me in the direction you want me to just ready push to the carts. Uh, you head up the path. And you arrive at the next camp. Uh, two human men in robes stand before this bonfire. On the other side of it, 
pig leashed to a peg, pounded into the ground, is a brown bear. Is it just a chill bear, or is it like a bear that's unhappy being leashed? Yeah. Uh, that is an excellent question. Uh, roll me insight, and or animal can... Can I cast guidance on you, friend? Sure. I'm, I'm willing if you want to. Yeah, this Always is a... if I remember. Yep. Because I wouldn't think druids would need to chain their bear, but what do I know? Oh, what if the bear's into it? <laughs> are, are you king chaining bears right now? Interesting. <laughs> I thought I could make friends with this bear if I wanted to. Thirteen? Thirteen. Alright. Uh... <sighs> Bear doesn't look too happy to be there, but it is somewhat cowed by the fact that, you know, it's tied down, so it can't really do much about its plight. Uh, the two men look up. Greetings, how are you doing today? Well, yourself? Well, not too bad. It's looking like a good day. Are you here for the festival? Yeah. I assume? We're, we're here for it. You know, gotta revitalize the land, uh, you know, Phoenix of Flame, that sort of stuff. You know how it goes. Seasons are changing. Gotta change with them. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know the score. You know the business. She kind of, like... Well, wait, out of character, would Glenn have, or at least been told by that check, that the bear was not a chill bear? Or not a happy bear? Uh, you would have to make your own roll. Boo. Okay. Yeah, I know. Sex to be you. Alright. Um, she kind of, like, nods towards the bear tide. Because she can at least see that much. And she says... Bear problems? They, they look so... No, it's fine. No problems. Just surprised to see a bear tied up here. You think with all these druids around, he'd be happy to just stumble around. Oh, the thing is, it's not the druids that are around. It's the not druids that are around. They don't quite know how to handle a bear. So, you know, we're just it's for their safety. You know, you get, you get, you get Meredith, the the town drunk. She's going to come here and she sees the bear. She's going to do something stupid. You know what they say, you know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Well, we don't really want that. We want a nice, safe, wicker giant festival. We don't want anyone mauled by a bear. So for their safety, we got the bear on a leash. Well, I hope that's okay with the bear. Well, Bear hasn't complained. She kind of looks at the bear like she would consider asking the bear itself, but doesn't do anything else. Hey. Uh, um, we were told you had wine up here. Uh, we do have wine up here. Would you like some wine that is up here? We'd love to check it out. Nice. Nice. Points you to the cask. Can. And, uh, you see the, the kind of symbol, the, the brazer symbol on the side of the cask. The bad symbol? Uh, well, that's the symbol you recognize. Bad symbol. Yeah. I'm just writing it for notes here. So I just kind of, like motion to my friends to notice the mark on the cask and mm -hmm. kind of smile at the guy and says thanks we'll definitely try a glass later no. not a problem oh um, Wick is sorry. probably going to chime in and be like oh where are everybody getting all this alcohol uh, from, uh, from, from Brewers. Well, I just didn't know if it was all being brought with them, or if it was, like, 
being bought here. Oh, well, you know, some of our some of our uh, uh, guests have uh, supplied some of their own, you know, and we've brought, you know, we, we've had the good fortune of uh, ordering in a few casks, and uh, so, you know, it's pretty much kind of a pot luck without the pot, if you know what I mean. I wouldn't... Actually, I think that might be over there somewhere, come yeah. to think of it. Yeah, I, we met some people with the pot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know. I mean, I was just I'm wondering. just saying, not all, not all this haze is haze, if you know what I mean. I went to college, I know. Say no more. So, do we just find a plot and then make camp, or... I'm not a druid, I don't know what any of this is about. Uh, I'm just following Glenn, but it would be nice to know, that way I can help her out. So, do you yeah, guys have any... Yeah, how long does this... thing last? Find a bonfire, settle down. Can't find a bonfire to settle down, make a bonfire settle down. It's all good to us. Glenn just kind of like... looked awkward, like she was surprised that was a question, and then kind of embarrassed that she didn't think of saying that to her friends. Just, you know, <laughs> don't burn the place down or anything like that. You know, we kind of want to keep the nature... naturing. Well, that's understandable. Yeah. Like, what's the, uh, like, itinerary for this thing? Like, when do certain events happen? Well, uh, we're, we're going to be partying through the night, and then just before sunrise, we're going to burn that. We're going to do the thing. He points towards the, 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 the giant at the top. Right, the hill. right. Like, yeah, well, we'll do the thing, and it's going to be lit <laughs> more than it already is. Oh, I'm, I'm certain. Cool, cool. Looking forward to it. This party's a scorch, eh? Have they had one of these before, or is this brand new? Well, yeah, it's our sacred right of the Wicker Giant. Of course we've done this before. Hey. Guy, we've done this before. <laughs> Again. Who hasn't I'm... heard of the right of the Wicker Giant? Who hasn't heard I'm of, not the a right druid? of the Wicker Giant? Yeah, no. fair enough. Yeah. We're, we're here to support our friend. We're kind of yeah. new to fair. this. Uh, Glenn, do make me an arcana check, though. I don't know. I don't think I'm good at that. Uh, Eleven. Yeah. Do you hear me? Yeah, you're in. Just no. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I wasn't sure about that. You rolled. Nothing happened. Hmm. Fine. Well, thank you guys for giving us a little bit of information. If there's anything else you think that we might need to know, we're gonna go and find a bonfire, I guess. Yeah. All right. You may need to continue further on. Uh, there's still five more bonfires. Uh, one of them directly up the path straight ahead. Uh, from the, the hippie camp, not this camp. There is no path going from this bonfire. Just gonna see if we can find one that's empty, and if not, we'll, I guess, make one? All right. Uh, you return back to the brandy druids, and they... Wave again. Dude, did you get the wine, man? Yeah, we checked it out. Thanks so much. Nice. Nice. You want, remember, if you want jam or you want brandy, come hit us up, man. We're totally got your backs on that. Glenn smiles and looks at her friends with, like, big eyes, like, let's hang out with them. <laughs> I was going to say, do we want to, like, sit alone, or do we want to check out some of these bonfires, see if there's an interesting group that we kind of want to investigate more, or, you know, get kind of reads on what's really going on? 
if there's anything really going on. I am. Well, they decide Glenn pets the ox. <laughs> I mean, there are five more bonfires. There's five more groups of people. Does Does Glenn want to hang out with the hippies or the elks? That's the real the question. The elks, obviously. Yeah, this is the elks. Analyze it. <laughs> I'm not gonna dignify that with an answer. <laughs> Clippy Cloppy is getting jealous. Oh, more than likely. Atlas suggests learning more about this, right? Um, and so, I'd say, out of character, stopping so. by the other bonfires. Yeah, I, I, I want to kind of check out bonfire. at least. What was yeah, that? What? I was just, uh, I don't, uh, I didn't quite hear what Laurel said. Oh, I was just saying we could split up and check out each, Stephen. I, yeah. I call going with Glencora. <laughs> <laughs> it's not splitting up. <laughs> There's five bonfires and four of us. Yeah, but Wick is very concerned because Glenn almost probably accidentally ate some, like, some laced shit. <laughs> he didn't eat anything. Some edible jam. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> she can't be put to sleep. She's fine. It's well, not, it's just not want putting to you to sleep then. that he's worried about. <laughs> Want to also to get there and check out at least. Party are concerned about letting Glenn put anything in her mouth without. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, um, serious consideration. Guys, this isn't an edible. Are you saying it's not edible? You've been poisoned. No, it's not. Po I'm just. It's just a cracker. <laughs> you can look, you can make a, you can make edibles with jam. Okay. Well, I do some uh -huh. sort of what, if, what if I want to get chat? high? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can we like do some of sort course, of August or I'm not sure what it is, perception check on like the August needs help sleep. of the hippies? On the what? On like if the hippies are just like genuinely cool dudes. Yeah, you can do check. me an insight check, yeah. Okay, and I'm going to cast guidance because I'm asking to do it. Yep. You're preparing to do it, and you just go, hmm. 14. Yeah, they're pretty chill, boys. Like, they're, they're chill for druids. Like, <laughs> they, they're the type of druids that if you wandered into their camp, they wouldn't sick a bear on you. They'd, like, they'd give you brownies and shit. Like, they, they, they Honestly, if I wasn't so afraid of, like, not being, like, prepared for anything that could happen... I feel like just letting loose would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> it really would. But August isn't that kind of character. He's like, something's gonna happen. I just fucking know it. Well, I was just happy to be with people who like animals as much as she does. <laughs> this is like a little slice of home for her, so she's just a little bit distracted and pleased oh. and happy. And really doesn't care what they do because she's just happy to be at the party. And that is nice. another reason Wick is going to probably try and stay with Glenclora because she is very. <laughs> well, do obviously... we even want to split up then, or do we want to want to visit at least one or two more of these groups, like together? I mean, one or two more together, and then if there's more reason to be suspicious, then we could split up. Yeah, sure. How about we keep going until we find an empty bonfire? Well, I mean, it takes me ten minutes. I can set up a yeah. hell of a bonfire. We have all night. We we have to get through the I other think six. We right? should. I mean, there's five bonfires. We don't have to visit every single one of them. But like, I mean, I'm kind of interested in seeing, like, getting a read on more people at this place. Mm -hmm. You want to do a walkthrough? Yeah. I mean, we have all night until sunrise, and then that's when, you know something might go down. Like, not bad, but the quicker, at least. Mm -hmm. okay. Come on, Glenn, back in the cart. <laughs> she looks visibly protruded by this, and it takes a little bit of prodding before she leaves the elks 
and hops in the car. There might be more animals in these camps. We saw a bear. If they're chained, I'm going to be unhappy. And that's very valid. Let's get you in the cart. There's plenty of insects, I'm sure. I've been keeping my eye out for them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's I've counted downside. 57 oh. at this point. 57. We're just going to get a lot of mosquitoes, though. Yeah, Fuck unfortunate. Mosquitoes. Unfortunate that mosquitoes are out to play. It's mosquito time, and this is bonfire is mosquito weather. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, that part is unpleasant. Um, you approach the next uh, camp after a little while. Uh, two rugged humans sit near a large bonfire. They are sparsely dressed and very hairy. Did you say they were humans? Uh, yes. Yeah. Very, the... very scruffy. Look, I found the bears. Does the Scarlet Moon dress <laughs> have any distinguishing characteristics? One of, one of them laughs when you say we found the bears, and they he just goes, <laughs> That's Amber. <laughs> That's not funny at all. <laughs> just oh. squints at you. That was Amber. That was out of character. I'm fine. It's in character now. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll just no. say that. <laughs> how about how about how about we make a compromise? Don't worry, Atlas, Atlas said it. it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wicker Atlas yeah. would have said it. I was gonna say Atlas would easily easily have said that. <laughs> he doesn't like Jared parties. <laughs> We're not. We're not bears. Who told you that information? Oh God. <laughs> the guy at the other camp. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's kind of a fucker. Uh, he means well. He really does. He also just likes to tease people. It, it, they they start to stammer. It's like, oh, oh we too are 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 fuckers. Uh, I I, <laughs> I I have fucked many people in my time, and and I'm sure. He has as well. Don't involve me in this stupidity. He certainly has. Oh, God. I hate you so much. Thank you for that insightful information. What circle do you all hail from? Um... Uh, oh, they just look at each other as if they can't really answer the question. They just like, oh, I guess the, the circle of this camp, this camp's kind of circular. I guess you're not, you're not druids, are you? Not druids. What was your first clue, bud? <laughs> hey, I I make no judgment calls because I don't know what a druid is or isn't. Because anybody can be anything they want to be. I don't know what you just said, but because I don't understand it, I'm going to choose to be annoyed by it. You're That's seriously fair. You're embarrassing me right now. Like, you have no social skills. You have no social skills. God damn it, I hate you so much. Well, I see you guys are getting along great. We're going to keep going. That way we can let you, you know, enjoy each other's company some more. Wonderful. All right. You have a wonderful time. C click. If one of you chooses to kill the other, I want to watch. <laughs> We're not gonna kill each other. <sighs> mm. Racist. <laughs> I mean, that was a good joke, sir. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Can't take you anywhere. <laughs> Atlas leans over to uh, August and goes, can I kill them both? <laughs> we have nice. good hearing, you know. <laughs> Maybe they really are bears. We're not bears. Please stop spreading that rumor. And we mm, are walking, just... except for we're in a cart, so we're carting. <laughs> So you've got uh, three directions you can go. You can go to the north towards uh, the Wicker Giant. 
Uh, you can go to the east towards a couple uh, campfires or to the west towards a couple different campfires. Point me in a direction and I will direct. The west. All right, you spoke you up. East. All right. A uh, half-elven woman here is dressed in robes, uh, red robes, while her three companions, a human woman and two human men, are dressed in rugged clothing and breastplates. The three in armor cook food on kebabs at their bonfire. What half kind of armor are they wearing? Half-elven woman with uh, what? They're, they're wearing kind of like, like stiff leather armor. With, with oh, okay. studs on it. Actually, still be shirts. And they they look less. They don't really look like druids, though. They look more like ranger types. Okay, I was just gonna say if they were in metal armor, then I know they're not druids. Yeah. The uh, the hooded uh, woman looks up, and says, hmm. "Can I help you?" We're just sure. looking for a place to join in. Hmm. Well, I got you. I got you. You're, you're, you're new? Yeah. I've seen you around here before. Hmm. Yeah, new to the area, helping out. What about you? Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just one of the local, uh, I'm just one of the members of the, uh, the circle of the Scarlet Moon, just making sure everything goes forth. All nice and all good. So are you in charge here, then? No, 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 I'm not in charge here. I'm just, uh, just here to watch, you know, just take part, enjoy the celebration. Have you been to the celebration before? Oh, yeah, this is not my first barbecue. Cool. We're excited to see what to expect. Oh, well, you know, if they're gonna, Elazar's gonna do the right, and, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, the cleansing happens, and, you know, you know um, the areas are new. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. Is Alvar at one of these fires? Oh, no, he'd be, uh, he'd be up the hill. Probably, uh, you know, doing uh, wicker giant things, as he's want to do. Hey, thanks. No, no problem. No problem. Uh, anything else I can, um, I can do for you? cleansing yeah cleansing you know ridding the the, the area of, of, of impurities so you know things can uh, grow better you know how it is sure <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not a druid i don't i'm not part of any of these circles i am just a meat man i just hit things you know, there's a there's a, there's a respectable trade the uh, the the being a meat man and just uh, hitting things. You know, some people uh, denigrate our our meat men, but uh, I, I I'm absolutely uh, I'm absolutely on board with man meat down then. One of the, the rangers just starts you know, just snickering. What what's so funny? What's so funny about that? <laughs> Phrasing, dude. Between the the meat men and the bears, this place is absolutely, like, lit. This place is a sausage. You know, that's what I said. Excuse me, did you just say lit? Yes. It's a wild time. Uh, don't ever say that. Oh, Again, it doesn't Atlas, sound right. you never went to a- you never went to a good party, did you? Been to quite a few good ones. It this doesn't sound right coming from August. Look, I used to party. I went to the same college. <laughs> <laughs> this is fraternity two guys. This is the same fraternity, fraternity as this asshole. Like, come on. <laughs> I've done things. <laughs> You seemed like the one that would fall asleep first. Wait. Wow. Yeah, go ahead. Not that that's a bad thing. 
Look, I'm tired <laughs> because I'm always up all night. This is the issue. <laughs> hey, you two, you want to keep your petty marital squabbles, like, in the cart? We got stuff to do. Excuse. I did not stutter. Fair enough. Where are we heading to now? Do you want to, is there another fire down this path? Or is it? Yep, yeah, there's another fire. Uh, as it kind of curves around the hill there. Uh, you can hear fiddling coming from that fire. Ooh. Oh, more flashbacks to high school. Why is it that no one has been all that helpful? <laughs> I'm going to say this as softly as possible. You have met Glencora, and you know exactly how helpful Glencora is. It is not her fault. I think it's just a druid <laughs> thing. Rude. I'm being as sweet and as loving as possible, Glenn, but sometimes you are just... Yeah. <laughs> she looks at him expectantly, like, waiting for him to finish that sentence. In parties, they're always so difficult. Sorry, I didn't hear you there. Atlas just said that this is why... Druid parties were never his style. <laughs> she kind of shrugs. Not really sure what to say. I'm down for any <laughs> party. It's just, oftentimes when I would go to a specific druid party, I would not remember anything the next day. That's fair. One dude it's offers not as you... thrilling when you... Yeah, it's one dude offers you a grilled cheese, and the next thing you know, half your wardrobe's on fire, and you're you know, hanging from a light pole. Mm -hmm. uh, that's yeah, about the time I went to bed. Yeah. That sounds like a really good time, actually. You're, you're literally <laughs> describing my favorite day of the year, right there. Like you get, you get, you, you wake up, you're half naked, you're on fire, and you get a grilled cheese. Like, come on, that's like a, a trifecta of awesome, right there, man. The, the dude from the camp that we just pulled up to. Yeah, it's just like that's. Uh, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I make a good grilled cheese. No, I want a same. grilled cheese. Glenn kind of holds her head and says, I bet the people from the first camp make a really good grilled cheese. Glenn, those Glenn people... and the Elks, I swear. Glenn, I adore you, but I'm more than certain those people were zooted out of their minds. That's why you know they make a good... The, the one thing I remember, the more blaze they are, the more chances they're going to have good grilled cheese, man. Who do you I go for know. snacks? I kind of agree, man. Fair. Yeah, like, it's not the bad thing. Yeah, like, who do you, who are you going to go for the snacks? The people who are like, oh, I'm a chef, I'm a culinarian of Queen Cook's University. Or do you go the to people the people who are making the bagel cheese? bites with Doritos on top? Yeah, you go to the people who got the munchies, man. They know what they're talking about. They're experts. They are gourmands, if you will. I don't disagree, but until we have a place yeah. to set up, I don't want us to get too little uh, off our rocks. You know, you know, that's that's absolutely understandable. You know, you don't want to be seeing colors until you know where the fire you're sitting at, what color red it is. I totally get you. Will you guys have yourself a good day? Maybe come by down a little bit later, and we'll we'll, we'll have a little toxic toxic. Okay? Sure. <laughs> Thanks. Beauty. Beauty. <laughs> Glenn, I know oh, I right. Go to the fiddle music? Yep. Uh, this bonfire is a little smaller than the others. A elf woman in robes plays a fiddle as two sprites dance around the smoke above the fire. You said full elf woman? Uh, yeah. She is, like, all elf. It's pretty thin. Glenn is already bad. reaching through her backpack for her lyre until someone probably tells, stops her. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop you. I am literally just driving this card. <laughs> she, she's playing and she looks up and she smiles. She says, hey! Sit down. Yeah, you two, leave them alone. They're guests. How are you, how are you guys doing? What's up? How can I help you? Nice to meet you. We're just visiting. 
We were drawn in by your music. It sounds beautiful. Thanks, thanks. My name's uh, Garyana. I'm I, I'm just uh, I'm just here to see what the uh, what the what what's going on here. I, I'm really looking forward to it. It's it's all exciting, you know. It really is. My name's yeah. Glenn Cora. These are my friends. Salutations. Glenn Cora, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Glenn Cora's friends. Uh, this here is Flix, and this is Aphid. And then the pixies go, she's got it backwards. I'm Aphid, that one's Flix. They're lying to you. Oh, we are. We're, we're fucking with you. <laughs> she's like, they're, um, yeah. I just, I don't know why it's taking so long. We've been here for, for how many days now? Well, it's been about uh, three hours. It's been about two days. Same thing. <laughs> now we've been here for about two days and we're just wondering why it's taking so long. Have you ever been to one of these before? I've never even heard of the Rite of the Wicker Giant before. Never mind been to one, but I'm looking forward to it. I want to see what all the fuss is about. How'd you hear about it? Well, you know, I heard it through the grapevine, you know. I was passing through the area with my two friends here, and uh, we'd heard that there was a there was a druid circle doing a wicker, you know, the, the wicker giant, right? And they're like, hey, we've never heard of that before. And I guess you could say curiosity brought us to this fire here this day. Well, hopefully you get to see everything you hope for. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, 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 I do too. Cause I'm, you know, if this is something I've never, I, you know, maybe I could learn how to do this. Maybe I could uh, do some restoration magics back in my own circle. You know how it is. She nods and smiles. I understand. I, I'd, I'd offer you a seat. You know, I'd offer you, to, you know, spend the night here. But uh, you, she points to the pixies and to the sprites. You know who can't be trusted. That's okay. We'll find one. We'll find our own, you know, spot. Oh, Don't mean no problem. Us. No problem. And if you uh, find uh, some, uh... she makes a kind of a weed motion towards her lips. You know? <laughs> Little um, Gariana, no, if you know what I mean. Oh, Don't I would definitely check day. out people with oh, the elves. No, no. People in yeah, front people with the, the elves. elves and those last guys right over there. Oh, there's some elf dudes here. Didn't even know. Flix, no, no, don't go. No, Flix, you get violent when you get high. You are not allowed. <laughs> they seem really fun, though. They are fun, but no. You do not <laughs> want that sort of hassle on your hands. Okay. Last, look, Last time Flix got high, it ended up with a water elemental, there was a tsunami, villagers were upset, notably, they're like, oh no, the tsunami, oh, our homes, oh, my baby's dead, it was a complete debacle, we do not want that again. I am, of course, exaggerating, no baby actually died. Oh, thank goodness. Well, that's why I said, thank goodness no baby died. But we can't ever be absolutely sure that won't happen again. Flix. Oh, uh, all right. You have a good one. You too. You too. Drive the cart. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to go. You'll have to go back to. Okay. So we got one more group. Yeah, you got the two bonfires on the other side of oh. the okay, I thought Gruffle we Camp. Bishop, no, sir. What the hell? I'm here. Oh. I drive the cart. Shall we check out the other bonfires then? We still haven't found one to sit at, so we might as well until we find something. Or set up our own. Glen Cora can do that. Well, I haven't found really a group that I feel like I want to really know about. I guess you don't ever want to make know about any groups. Look, you're not wrong, but I'm also curious about more of this. It, 
I mean, you seem pretty chill here. You seem like you're kind of vibing with all these, people, but I don't know. Still, I'm I'm still kind of hyper aware about cult shit and the guys that were selling the wine. So like, I I don't know. I something still feels a little weird. But I mean, you seem like you don't like you you like what's going on here. Well, it does feel a little bit like home. So I mean, doesn't seem like it's necessarily. Uh, I don't know, a ba bad thing going on here. I just know, I don't know, I'm still kind of hot for Okay. Whatever you want. She kind of just smiles and shrugs. So I just want to get more information from people around here. It's not necessarily I want to socialize. Well, August, I agree with you, but I'm not sure if we're going to get oh. information out of the people around here. I feel like they've been pre-gaming longer than we've even known about this place. Uh, you know, I mean, that's also fair. I kind of got the vibe from the first group. Mm -hmm. Sometimes parties can take days, though. Yeah, that's, what I, that's why I kind of asked when we got here, like, how long do these things usually last? I didn't kind of realize it's already been going on for, like, two days at least, according to that one. I, I don't trust anything that woman says. I think she is an unreliable narrator. I mean, alright. Just go all in right. until we find another bonfire. Alright, all right, so you go back around. Uh, you uh, pass by the sarcastic, scruffy guys. Oh, look, they're back. Oh, look, they're leaving. Oh, Good look, to see you, too. you still have something up your ass. I told you not to spread those rumors. Oh, wow. Didn't know that, that's didn't know, that, that's, didn't know what that's what, that what a rumor means. was. No idea. I'm just a dumb man driving a cart. Y'all have fun. You know, when I was commenting about their hearing, I was talking about actors. Listen, sometimes you just have to throw somebody's energy back at them. <laughs> I never have energy. What are you talking about? I know you don't. <laughs> What's an energy? <laughs> As you probably We're still uh, start heading hell, but... to the east and approaching the next two bonfires. Um, three people doze near the first bonfire as a fourth leans on a staff, clearly bored out of his mind. Look looks like you're up. having a good time. Uh, the sleeping figures kind of stir. They go, oh, uh, is someone here? Hey. Hey. Hi. And uh, the the board man just looks up high. Sorry to bother you. Looks like you guys are resting before the big event. He just looks up at you, and his eyes have this "please save me from this personal hell" look in them. So ah, uh, <laughs> look, I know all too. Right. Uh, how are you doing? Well, we're just checking the place out. We have yeah. no idea what's going on, and no one I mean, has been honestly. helpful. The only thing we know is this is apparently a thing that happens a lot, but most people here don't know that it's happening, that they're apparently going to set a giant straw thing on fire, and every time someone says Wicker, I start losing my mind, because my name is Wick, and I'm- it, this is- this is too much. <laughs> You know, I can, I can understand. You said your name was Wick? Yeah, my name's Wickham, and people called me, you know, Wickerman, or, you know, things like that. This, the people talking about setting a giant Wickerman on fire is slightly unnerving me. You <laughs> are a giant man named Wick, so I do understand that. My name is Haruki. I am not named Wick. 
And I am also uncomfortable because this is just the wrong night to be lighting a bunch of fires. It's too hot. Oh. I guess you got a point there. I mean, is uh -huh. this area known for like wildfires? Well, there's nothing wild about this fire. Yeah, I, I guess a couple of them would say, oh yeah, this is a wildfire, woo, and all I that. I mean, like a, like a yeah. spreading, like... That's not really a big deal, as far as I know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not from around here. Hmm. No, what, what did he say his name was? Uh, Saruki. Out of character, what time of year is it? Like, what season is it? Summer. Oof. And Saruki looks at, uh, looks at August. Says, what, "What's your name?" Uh, August. Nice. What's your deal? What, what, what brings you out here? Um, we're just here to support our friend. Uh, she's she's a druid. Glen Waves. Kind of checking out what this whole. Well, you know, you know, we were. Oh, they know what that actually might have been Amber's misunderstanding. Never mind. <laughs> I don't mean to profile, but you're the druid, and he points to uh, Glenn. She nods and says, "What gave me away?" Well, he points to Wick. Definitely not a druid. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> Points to August. Definitely not a druid. I guess that's fair. Points to Pierce. <laughs> Who's Pierce? <laughs> sorry, to, to <laughs> points to Atlas. Could be a druid. And then points to Glenn. Definitely a druid. Like, like... <laughs> because like, I don't want that. I don't... I don't... Well, I don't want to be prejudiced or anything like that, but, you know, look how she's dressed. I like how she's, she's dressed. She's the only one of you. eyebrow at that and says, well, what are you? Well, she's the only one wearing green. Never mind. Well, I'm, I'm here to support my friends. That's my, my official job. I'm a friend That's supporter. Nice. Have something in common. Oh, Wick's right. gonna, like, lift up one of his boots and be like, I mean, does teal kind of count? No, not really. No. Fair. No. I am green. Yeah, that doesn't count either, right? Like, <laughs> right. being green, like, no one's really born a druid. Fair. It's not how that works. I'm not a druid, I'm just putting that out there. Just as a character, like, I hear something like a TV or something in the background. Yeah, that's a that's a that's me. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I'm trying right. to keep myself muted as much as possible. It's all good. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to. You can always turn on your noise suppression thing if you don't have it on. That usually helps background noise stuff. Look, all I'm saying is that if you've got a group of four people and only one of them is a druid, it's going to be the one wearing leaves and green shit and brown. Like, you know, I mean, like... he has a point, right? <laughs> At this point, he kind of, you know, his fingers kind of cross a little bit, and he rubs his chin with them, and his thumbs touching. He's like, "And well, if you're not a druid, though, what is your deal?" And he and he points to Atlas. Like, what, 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 what's your deal? You're still meet up. Sorry, I'm trying to feed the cats. <laughs> My deal is I like insects. That's about it. I do not understand how that differs from druids. I must say, it could be a druid. Yeah, and that's that's fairly druidic behavior. I'm a shadow sorcerer. That is definitely not druidic behavior. I apologize. Yeah. I, I I had you pegged uh, for uh, a fashion diva, but uh, that is a fine hat. Where'd you get that hat? <laughs> I am also a part-time fashion diva. 
12, okay. Yeah, don't get them uh, wrong. Get and, uh, that's fair. Waco I, 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 is responsible for the hat. Yeah, that was on I me. See. I see. I know I look like a hot mess of garbage, but I do actually know what I'm talking about when I when it comes to fashion. I dress like this on purpose. You, you, you look just like... Oh, you know what? The impression I get from you and how you dress is that you're someone who wants to be taken seriously, who, who, who wants to show that they're not someone who, who you necessarily need to fuck with, but I can tell by your general demeanor that, you know, you're mostly cool with people. Is that to me or to Atlas? Yeah, to, 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 uh, to Wick. Well, I mean, yeah. most of it's right. Cool, cool. You know what, I got, I got some munchies. If you guys want some, you know, feel free to, feel free to come in. Oh, we're trying to sleep. Can you, can you know that? Oh yeah, sorry what? for bothering you. Maybe we should move on so your friends can get their rest in. Sure. Sure. I apologize. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. It's all good. Just let us sleep, man. We gotta be up early. For the big boom fire thingy. Well, hopefully it's not a boom. Well, you know, that might actually improve this party considerably. Well, hopefully, and like you mentioned, hopefully these, uh, we got enough druids here. I feel like they can handle a, a fire if it starts spreading in this heat. You're not wrong. It is kind of muggy, though. Gonna, we'll see you. We'll see you there. Alright. Kind of pushing to Wick to keep on going. Yeah, I clicked right. the rain. One last, one last stop. Uh, this fringe cap has three bulky figures standing near the fire, their robes hoods pulled up. Two giant wolf-like wargs rest at the edge of the firelight. What? Wolf-like what? Wargs. Wargs. What's a warg? They're honking wolves. They're okay. big honking wolves. Yeah, they're like <laughs> chunky. They're like yeah, so you get like you get like wolves, and then you get like dire wolves, and this is like a more oh my god, mountable, bigger than a violent. dire wolf. They are bigger than a dire wolf. They are like a more mountable step up from a dire wolf. Like, how do you spell that? Is that W O R or W A R? W O R G. Uh, people with who who want to do nature checks can certainly. Uh, I'm just writing down cool. notes, but wow. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. I don't I don't expect anything of it. August is good at nature. I mean I cast guidance on oh, actually, so don't, I'm going to roll okay. it. Roll it cast guidance on someone else, not me. Yeah. I mean I'm rolling, but I have a plus two, I don't know. Let's see. To to give a bit of um seventeen eight, nineteen. I rolled a natural one. Oh 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 twenty two. Works are very intelligent, very cunning, and they're evil. Take all the memes you have seen about cats being evil, but apply it to a wolf that is bigger than Clippy Cloppy. Ooh. And make it true. Yikes. Uh, also, Drake, I don't know if you were checking the messages. Um, uh... Yep, that'll answer your question. Gotcha. It's not something you can control like that quite. Gotcha. Yeah, no, these are these are big honking woofers. <laughs> and how many people are around? Or is it just three just bulky three figures? Them. Okay. With hoods pulled up? Yep. Now that seems like uh, bullshit. 
They also, uh, works are known to, they can actually speak, oh. some of them. And they often can speak goblin, as well as their own specific language. Uh, unless they notice us, yeah. I'm just gonna keep going. Well, there's no yeah, keep going to go through. Should... You gotta go through the, the camp. That yeah. is exactly the picture I have. <laughs> in the monstrous manual. Oh, woo woos. Be big. Alrighty. Well, I mean, we don't necessarily have to stop to converse with them. This is the last bonfire, correct? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Inside you, there are two walls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Except it's one wolf the size of two wolves and your innards are eaten. Thank you for the imagery, DM. <laughs> How much and he's laughing at your misfortune. <laughs> Saying get wrecked. <laughs> he's just gonna keep going. All right. Do we want to stop is and any actually... use <laughs> using perception on them, or is yeah, what can, we, yeah, can we like we look can. at them from afar before deciding whether or not we actually want to converse yeah, with these make... fellas? You can make me um, perception checks. Great. Can I pass guidance? You can pick one of us. Yeah, I can only pick one. I thought it was yeah, you can o Yeah, you can only pick one unless uh, unless oh. you're going to keep. keep take turns looking like hmm. what's everyone's guidance plus or um perception uh, plus perception i uh, not plus me two. i already rolled not me well i mean you plus could three. my my perception is also plus three but like because if i cast it on myself i already have a plus five it's like oh. if we want to safety up uh, to make sure we if have you want it one. you can you can Put it on me if you want. I have a plus two. Okay, I'll cast it on August. Or do we want it on someone higher? Like, well, yeah, I was saying because I know, have a plus yeah, five do it on yourself. Do it on yourself. Okay. That, that's better. Yeah, I already rolled, and that's why I was like, don't do it on me. That wouldn't be yeah, fair. On my yeah, if you guys are going to be doing uh, stacking bonuses and stuff like that, you could also have someone help, and that would give advantage to the roll. I mean, I'm gonna look, so maybe I'll just help them. All right, so August does the help action. Uh, Glencora guidance is herself. Uh, so you guys are doing some team action. So uh, Glenn can roll it with uh, Ooh, advantage. Ooh, natural 20. Woo! Oh, fuck. Was that Atlas? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I got, oh, wait. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, both you and Atlas, you notice that uh, one of them's kind of slowly moving his hand towards his waist to his sword mm. and has a snout. You don't know of many humanoid races with a snout. As such. But he's doing it Perception, so slowly that uh, it's hard to perceive. But you do notice it. And you get this sense of I'll do it if you can hear. wariness. I'm just going to keep driving. Is it where wary? No, not where wary. As wary. Like they're. No, I know. Like, are, as the party, do we become wary just looking at them or is we getting the sense that they're wary people i cannot tell you how you feel about this <laughs> okay um and you said there was how many hooded people three they three, all have and snouts then two or... of the you only see the ones got the snout 
and two cords. And kind of I feel like we should there. find out what this what this should be. All right, you're called, bro. We should tread lightly. I am fucking driving the cart through their camp. Like I've not stopped. <laughs> I'm not here to converse. We're just going. Okay. Seems as far on us. All right. I'm going through the camp well, and around you... until I can find a clearing to make a bonfire. Yep. Time to make our own. Right. You uh travel through their clearing uh i want you to roll initiative because they oh, will fuck. not be gentle <laughs> bro we're you just trying to make pass. our way through yeah to someone towards someone drawing a sword i mean you can it's, shout it's it not, yeah it's, it's it's not you guys it's, it's them it's not you it's them they're us uh, this is like i want to fight i rolled a 19. <laughs> All right, what the hell? Oh, well, why don't I ever roll good initiative? Uh, Ten. Oh, I'm rolling good initiative. You can have mine. It says, it says, isn't this what we were coming looking for? Something mysterious no. and risky. We're just trying. Yes. They are here with other people at a fucking camp. People are going to come near them. Well. I rolled a somewhat, six. Sometimes. Right. I rolled a two. Oh, well, I guess I have better initiative than right. I thought. I have a ten. So, Atlas uh, uh, rolled a two? Yes. Do you want to be in the dice cut right now? Just give me a second. Uh, okay. And uh, Wick rolled a six? Question mark? Yes, I rolled a six. And August rolled a number, if I recall correctly. Ten. That is a number. My dice are just kind of cranky tonight. And Glenn rolled a superior number. A 19. A 19. Glenn Coco is not to be fucked with. I don't like going <laughs> first. <laughs> Which is funny, because you you Before are not to be fucked on with. That, can we take a quick break? Absolutely. I need to do some, like, uh... Yeah. I need to do some uh, bookkeeping anyways. Alright. So, so that I'm going to stop the recording in yep. three, I'm gonna... two, 